Hey guys, in today's video, I bring you a quick tip for those of looking to create this type of model. Here, we see this pendant in the skin. To create this type of pattern, I'm going to show you a very quick way to create this model in 3ds Max. So, let's start by creating a plan. I'm going to enter a volume of 160 for the length. In widths, we enter to 5. I'm going to center the plane in the skin and position it correctly. Returning to the parameters, we are going to enter 60 for the length segments. We add the array modifier, we are going to change distribution to radial and the axis to y axis. In the top view, we can see how the distribution works. We increase the radius to 25 and enter the same value of the count. Now we add the volume selection modifier. We are going to change the volume to mesh object. We are going to need a new object. In top view, create a new plan. This time we will leave the segment in one. We will center it in the skin and also align it with the object. With the right mouse button, go to the object properties and select the display as a box option. Once that is done, we return to the modifier and in mesh object select the plane that was created. We go up to the stack select option and change it to vertex. Nothing has changed yet because we have to enable the soft selection. We have the fall off to adjustment the size of the selection and also the bubble and pinch options. Let's add the push modifier and set the value to 30. We add an edit poly and the shell modifier to give thickness to the model. I will leave the value as 3. Now that we have everything set up, let's change the position of the plane. Here, we can see how the modifier works. When we change the position of the plane, the model changed the formation that was created with the push modifier. The same is happening when we change the scale of the plane. You can see that with this configuration, we have excellent control over the model. Let's rotate the model creating the same detail that it was in the reference. To smooth the transition in this part of the model, we will change the bubble and pinch values. This way, we have complete control over the deformation of the model. I will increase the rotation a little more and adjust the position of the plane. Now that we have the model created, you may notice that when we change the position of the plane, we lose the deformation of the model. To solve this, it's simple. Convert the model to editable poly and we can delete the plane. Finally, you refine the model by smoothing the edges with the chamfer. Let's go down to filter by and change it to unsmoothed edge. Now we can adjust the size of the edge and finally I will add the normal weight modifier. And that's it, that was today's tutorial, see you next time, bye!